Segregation is one of the big three reasons a process fails. It causes a loss in product quality and can result in downtime due to quality issues or even induce cohesive hang-ups. Companies that handle powders produce about $50 billion in sales each year. We estimate that segregation is responsible for a loss of profit to the industry of nearly $20 billion per year in lost revenue or productivity. Sifting segregation is caused when fine particles sift down through a matrix of, of coarse particles. The fines must be 2.5 to 3 times smaller than the coarse particles. Both the fines and the coarse must be moderately free-flowing. There must also be some interparticle motion. This mechanism causes a side-to-side -side pattern. Angle of repose segregation is caused by differences in repose angles greater than 2 degrees. It also requires moderately free-flowing materials. Piles are required to cause this type of segregation. It also causes a side-to-side -side pattern with the lowest repose angle material concentrating at the bottom of the pile. Air entrainment segregation requires air currents. These currents could come from a free-fall drop or other means. It also requires a fine powder and a compressible bulk material. The pattern in this type of segregation is a side-to-side -side pattern, with the fines generally at the container edge. Impact fluidization requires a fine fluidizable material with large particles. It requires a source of air and trained with the material. However, this segregation produces a top-to-bottom pattern with layers of fines and coarse. Segregation can occur in all process equipment, blenders, bins, tablet presses, belts, etc. It is important to know the pattern and the magnitude. In addition, the potential to segregate must be tied to the process. Any material will separate if we add enough stimuli. The real question is, will the stimulus of passing material through my process cause segregation and how much? The flow pattern must match the segregation profile. For example, if top to bottom segregation exists, then a uniform velocity profile will result in extreme segregation. However, if a non-uniform blending profile is used, then mixing of layers reduces segregation. To solve segregation problems, we need to know the cause of segregation and how bad segregation really is. We need a robust instrument. Let me introduce you to our Segregation Potential Evaluation and Characterization Tester. We call it the SPEC Tester. The first step in measuring segregation is to dump material onto a pile in a controlled manner. We do this by placing material into a slice box. The spec tester uses a vibratory feeder to feed the mixture components into the slice model. We also place the pure components into component trays. We will use steak seasoning as an example material to show you how the spec tester works. Steak seasoning is made up of salt, garlic, dill seed, black pepper, red pepper. The spec tester will measure the spectra of each of these pure components. The spec tester will also measure the spectra of the mixture in the slice box along the length of the pile. The pure component spectra is combined using a weighted linear average to approximate the mixture spectra. From this analysis, we determine the concentration. We plot the concentrations as a function of distance down the pile. In this example, the salt and the black pepper accumulate at the top of the pile. The garlic accumulates at the bottom of the pile. In this example, coarse blue sand was mixed with fine salt. 
The salt accumulates at the top of the pile, while the blue sand accumulates at the bottom of the pile. This is indicative of sifting segregation. In this example, cream of wheat was mixed with two sugars. This example shows a dramatic segregation of the two sugars and is indicative of angle of repose segregation. Since finer materials reflect more light, the spec tester can be used to do size segregation also. This example shows the segregation of four salts of different size. The spec tester can measure multiple component segregation. It can measure different chemical species. It can determine the segregation mechanism. It can measure segregation magnitude. It can determine size segregation. It runs fully automatic and can measure segregation potential in 5 to 20 minutes. Get yours today.